Thanks for your time tonight. It's very good to be with you, and thank you for the invitation. You're a political scientist. Well, all scientists are political to a degree. Yeah, but you're an actual political scientist. Well, all scientists are actually political. That's the point I'm making. Well, what do you do for a living? I'm a political scientist. You study politics? I do. That's exactly what I do. And how do you do that? Scientifically, Brian. I'm a political scientist. Right. There's a huge amount of discussion at the moment, isn't there, about the state of Australian politics? There is. I think there's a national debate about the quality of uh, politics in this country. And the electorate are not impressed, are they? I think the electorate think it's all a bit of a circus. Which is a bit unfair. Uh, yeah, I think it is a bit unfair, Brian. Circuses have got some structure. And there are safety nets. There's that round bit in the middle and the bloke with the whip in the chair doesn't stand himself down very often. Nothing seems to stop at the moment in Canberra, does well, it? Well, this just... is partly to do with you people, partly to do with the media. You're feeding off this, Brian, and there's a new sensation every day, Well, isn't this it? week you had the Leader of the Opposition running out of yeah. Parliament in case he got a vote. Uh, well, and didn't he go well? He went like well, a rocket. Very quick I indeed. mean, he is in some form, isn't he? Just before the Olympics. Well, not so much just thing. before the Olympics, Brian. I'm thinking in terms of... Well, you know why he left the Parliament in a hurry, don't you? Well, he didn't want to benefit from a tainted vote. I no, 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 no. He didn't want to benefit from a tainted Labor vote. OK, so how would you describe the state of politics in Australia at the moment? Well, just leaving aside a discussion of the media whose principal effect is to exacerbate all this, what you've essentially got, Brian, is a government that was duly elected. But it's in office with a coalition of independents. Yes, but they were duly elected. And but led by a leader who tipped out the former leader. Yeah, but she was elected. Yes, twice. Yes, but twice she was elected. My point is this is all democratic. Yeah, but the opposition have got a problem with that, haven't they? Well, I they? don't know that they have. I think even they would admit that in broad terms they're also democratic. Yeah, I mean, they want to be the government. Well, they do, but of course they have similarly the problem that they are also in coalition and they also are led by a person who tipped out the previous leader. So what do they do? A lot of upper body work, Brian. They seem to be on the bike a fair bit, some swimming. They keep fit. Over time, though, historically, is, is there patterns of behaviour? Like yes, this? the pattern, you mean in Australian parliamentary yeah. history? Yes, the pattern is that they swap sides from time to time. So what can we say? Is Australia healthy, the parliament? Is the Australian political system yeah. healthy? That's really a health services question, Brian. Ring him. Craig... Thompson.